Hello students, welcome back. The topic that we are going to learn today is quartile, percentile and deciles. Now quartile, percentile, deciles are not averages but they are included here because they are of, a, um, of same nature as of median or we can say that median is a family member of quartile, percentile and decile. Now first of all we will be learning about quartile that what exactly a quartile is. Now a quartile are the values uh, that divide an arranged data into quarters of four equal parts all right so these values are denoted by q1 q2 and q3 okay and where q1 represents the first quartile q2 represents the second quartile and q3 represents the third quartile all right so let's move on towards the formulas for uh, quartile for ungrouped data for group data okay for n values arranged in array the quartiles are computed as where q1 will be calculated as q1 equals to n plus 1 divided by 4th th value q2 is equals to twice of n plus 1 divided by 4th th value q3 is equals to 3 times n plus 1 divided by 4th th value so we can write these measures as q of i equals to i times n plus 1 divided by 4th value where i um, will be from 1 till 3 as you can see in the formula when we were asked to find out q1 we shift we move we can write i as 1 out here so 1 multiplied by n plus 1 divided by 4 when i is 2 2 times n plus 1 divided by 4 when i is 3 3 times n plus 1 divided by 4 now they all are written th values that means that you need to find out uh, the position of the value first then we'll go back in the data and search for those values as I told you that there are of same nature as of median so the same uh, process or the same steps that we used to follow when calculating median the same and exact steps will be followed here as well but the only difference is the formula as you can see that out here the formula is n plus 1 divided by 4 or i times we talk about the general form that is this form q of i is equals to n into n plus 1 divided by 4 in this thing quarter means dividing a set of data into four parts all right and for median what we used to do is that median is a fixed value n plus 1 divided by 2 now if you just look at the second quartile value this is q2 equals to 2 times n plus 1 divided by 4 if I just cancel 2 with 4 2 ones are 2 2 twos are 4 so don't you think that this formula will be turned into median formula that is n plus 1 divided by 2 now they will both hold a relation that means that second quartile value is always equals to the median value all right and these things uh, the, this pattern actually follows in any every type of data if we just go through towards the group data q of 1 is equals to l plus h upon f into summation f by 4 minus cf now out here the definitions are same that we're going to take L as lower bound boundary, H is height, F as the frequency of quartile class. Since we are, are asked about the first quartile, that means first quartile class frequency, summation F divided by 4 minus CF. Now CF means cumulative frequency preceding to quartile class. Alright, so whatever quartile is asked to us, so cumulative frequency will always be calculated as of preceding class not of following class and not of current class if you are asked to find out q2 so q2 will be l plus h upon f 2 times summation f by 4 minus cf if you are asked about q3 so q3 is l plus h upon f into 3 times summation f by 4 minus cf so if you wanted to write it in a general form we can write it as q of i 
equals to L plus H upon F into I times summation F by 4 minus CF. Now if the first quartile is asked to you, you substitute I as 1. If second quartile is asked, you substitute I as 2. If third quartile is asked, you can substitute I as 4. Alright? Now as you can see, as I told you, if you look at the second quartile, and if you just do a little simplification out here, you cancel 2 with 4, so 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4, the whole formula will be somewhat like of median formula. So Q2 is actually equal, second quartile value is actually equal to median value for all types of data, right? And since in median values, what we used to do that we first determine the median class, right? So in this case, how we will be determining the median class? See, for, sorry, the quartile class actually. So for median class, we use the formula of this, you know, summation f by 2 for median. But when we are asked to find out quartile, we are going to use this summation f by 4 for first quartile, 2 times summation f by 4 for second, and 3 times summation f by 4 for third quartile. Now, for group data, what we need to do is that we will be determining the quartile class first and then we'll proceed. So to determine the quartile class, we will use this part of the formula. That is, if we talk about the general form, i times summation f by 4 will tell us about our quartile class. Now i varies from 1 to 4. That means whatever quartile is asked to you, whether it is 1, 2, 3, you can use this part of the formula, that is i times summation f by 4, to find out your quartile class. Moving on, quartile for ungrouped simple frequency distribution case. Now there is another case, there were three cases in general and this was named as case 2 but uh, I have, I'm writing it uh, here. In case of discrete or ungrouped frequency distribution, the quartiles are com computed as Q1 equals to summation f plus 1 divided by 4, Q2 is equals to twice of summation f plus 1 divided by 4, Q3 is equals to 3 times summation f plus 1 divided by 4. And this is the general form of the formula that is Q of i equals to i times summation f plus 1 divided by 4 th value. Now as you can see both in ungroup distribution, ungroup data and in simple frequency distribution, we first need to find out the position where our quartile value is and then we'll declare our answer. All right. And since I told you that we, they all are related to median, so the same steps that were required to find out medium, median will be used here as well. All right. So if we talk about simple frequency distribution, the first step will be that you have to, uh, f um, when a table is particularly given, you have to find out the cumulative frequency less than. Then we will be using the formula and after that, we will be looking in the CF column, uh, the answer, the position value, and then we will declare our answer. So moving on, and now consider an example for ungrouped data. The example is that find Q1, Q2, Q3 for the following data. Now the data is 2, 3, 3, 9, 6, 6, 12, 11, 8, 2, 3, 5, 7, 5, 4, 4, 5, 12, and 9. They are all together 19 value. Now the first thing is that we are going to arrange the data or we are going to array the data. Now this is the array data. Alright. The next step is that we are going to use the formula. Now Q1 is equals to n plus 1 divided by 4 th value. That is 19 plus 1 divided by 4 which is equals to 20. 20 divided by 4 gives you fifth value. Now if we go towards the table, the fifth value is 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Alright. Moving on. They've asked us for second quartile as well. So second quartile is n plus 1 divided by 4 th value which is 2 times 19 plus 1 divided by 4 gives you tenth value. So 10th value in this case is 5. Then for third quartile, Q3 equals to 3 times n plus 1 th value. So 3 times 
19 plus 1 divided by 4 will give us 15th value. So the value of third quartile is 9. Okay, so what we have done here, we have arranged the data one. Uh, in the first step, we have arranged the data first. Then we use the formula to find out the position. And after getting the position, we'll, move, we'll go back towards the data and find out our answer that which position at which position at the particular position actually the answer is all right so we're going to look we're going to arrange the data we're going to use the formula and then after the formula we'll get the position and we'll look that position into a arranged data to find out a final answer now moving on towards the second example which says find quartiles for the following data now the data is of type 2 which is case 2 or simple frequency distribution where observations are given and to every observation there is corresponding frequency written all right so if you need to find out quartiles for this following for this type of data the formula is q1 equals to i times summation f plus 1 divided by 4 since all three quartiles values are asked so summation f plus 1 divided by 4 twice of summation f plus 1 divided by 4 for third quartile is 3 times summation f plus 1 divided by 4. Now, as I told you that uh, these are related to median, right? So the same steps that we used for me uh, used to determine medium will be used out here as well. So first of all, I just find out all the position values out here for q1 for q2 and for q3 so the position for q1 is 16th value position for q2 is 32 second value and position for q3 is 48 value now out here i've just directly given the answer q1 is equals to 4 q2 equals to 6 and the final value for q3 is equals to 7 now as i told you that we're going to use the same method that we used for median so in median whenever a simple frequency distribution is given we first uh, just make a cf less than column that is a cumulative frequency less than column we look uh, in that cf column the position and then we declare our answer so what i did here is that i've just directly uh, first of all i've calculated the position values and now I'm going to show that how and which value was what, right? So, see, as I told you, the first answer was 16th value. Q1 was 16th position. So, corresponding to 16th position will lie in this class. So, this class observation is 4. That is why Q1 was equals to 4. Second position was 30 to... Uh, 32nd value so 32nd value is equals to which lies in this class all right and the answer for this class is 6 48 value so 48 value lies in this class as you can see that above 43 till 53 lies in this class so the answer is 7 so if you just go back a little see q1 was equals to 4 Q2, 6 and Q3, 7. Moving on towards the final type of the data that is grouped data. Now from the following, frequen following grouped frequency distribution calculate Q1 and Q3. They have only asked us to find out value for Q1 and Q3. Okay, so this is my data where wages are given a number of workers. That means frequency corresponding to every class is written. Now, in order to find out quartiles, all right, first quartile and third quartile, we need to find out its position value. And as I told you that we first will be determine the positions, all right, and then we will be looking these position into our CF column. And after that, we will be using a formula for group frequency distribution. The same steps are followed as in median. All right. So uh, the median steps are same. Uh, as you can see that whatever we are doing in quartile to find out values for quartile are same as of median. So first position, summation F by 4, which is 50th value. And this is 
थ्री टाइम समीशन एफ बाय फोर इक्वल टू वन फिफ्टी वैल्यू नाउ फर्स्ट आई टोल्ड यू दैट वी नीड टू ड्रॉ सी एफ कॉलम फर्स्ट सो सी एफ हेर वी हैव अ सी एफ कॉलम राइट एंड इट्स एस गो बाई फिफ्टी एंड वन फिफ्टी वैल्यू सो फिफ्टी वैल्यू वल लाइज इन दिस क्लास एज यू कैन सी एंड वन फिफ्टी वल लाइ इन दिस क्लास right so this is 50th value and 150th value now for q1 this is my first quartile class and this is my third quartile class so for first quartile class l was 150 now if you just go back for first quartile class we need l which is 170 height is 20 which is fixed all right frequency of the first class is 50 and uh, cf which should always be preceding to the class that is asked so out here first if you are looking for first class so cf will be 30 all right so these values are required 170 height 20 50 which is frequency and 30 So after putting these values into the formula, the final answer is one seventy. Now, if we're looking for Q three, so the lower boundary for Q three was one ninety. Height is twenty. Frequency for the class is eighty. This is calculated as one fifty. We have calculated this thing earlier. And CF should always be taken to preceding class. So preceding class frequency was. Proceeding to third quartile class frequency was uh, cumulative frequency. All right, so cumulative frequency proceeding to third quartile class was eighty. So the answer is two zero seven point five. I hope that you have understood all three cases of quartiles and how to calculate it. Okay, and I want you all to calculate the second quartile for this data, which is the third uh, group frequency data. and if you calculate median value for the same data all right so you can see that both answers are same so the relation that qt q2 that is second quartile value is always equals to median value you can prove it yourself that uh, these two values are always equal the relation is q2 is equals to median value thank you so much